Hey guys, it's Lee, and I am back to do Nate's hat challenge once again. This is an acrylic pouring challenge, and if you're interested in participating, I will leave a link to Nate's channel in the description box below. So today I'm going to pick three, and we'll see how that goes, and then maybe I'll pick two more. So the challenge is to pick three or five, but I'm not sure how adventurous I am. So let's start with number one. I didn't get out. <laughs> All right, I got, I got three. So let's see what they say. Can't do a ribbon pour. Can't do a strainer pour. Must use a fork in some way. All right, I'm gonna pick a couple more because that's kind of boring. All right, so this one says must use white. And this one says, the chihuahuas are fighting, pick up three more challenges. Now pick three in your hand and discard the other three you don't want. All right, so I'll pick three more. One, two, three. Must use orange. Can't do tree ring pour. Must use white and red. Okay, so I get to discard three of them. So these are the three I'm keeping. Must use orange, must use a fork in some way, and must use white and red. So I'll be back to do that pour as soon as I get all the paints mixed up. Okay guys, I'm back and I have my red and white and orange and a plastic fork. The red I'm using is Cadmium Red Medium Hue by Liquitex Basics. And the orange is just an orange I got at the Dollar Tree. And the white is Artist Sloth Flow Acrylic White. There's no silicone in any of these. So I decided to do a bottle bottom pour. I have this little one that came off of a Hint water bottle. And I'm gonna start off by pouring a lot of white. Next, I'm gonna go with the red. And for the fork, I'm just going to go in between and pull in. All right, and now I'm going to carefully tilt it.
I'm going to pop the bubbles. Keep tilting. Mm, I'm gonna go this way. And back over here. I forgot to mention this is a 12 by 12 canvas. I really don't like this part. I wish I hadn't ended in white. I don't like it. Let me think about this a minute. All right, so I don't like this. So I'm gonna set this in the middle and pour a few more layers and tilt again. Just gonna use the side of the fork this time to draw in a little bit. Give it a quick torch. All right, and stretch again. Okay, I like this much better this time. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Usually when I pour over something, I regret it, but this time I like it. So let me take you down close and show you what it looks like. So here it is. Oh, I am gonna torch this one more time, but there's no silicone. So all that's gonna do is pop any air bubbles that might be in it. And here you go, it's kind of psychedelic looking. I'll come back in a day or so and show you what it looks and show you what it looks like when it's dry. Okay, so here it is a couple of days later. I admit I did this challenge a little early, but I kind of wanted to see what it looked like when it was dry. So here is a close-up, and no, I did not move it. I think it's pretty. Sorry about the Greyhound again, walking around. Anyway, I think it's pretty. Let me know in the comments section below what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to head on over to Nate's channel, which will be in the description box below. And you can probably do a Google search for Nate's Hat Challenge and find the other participants. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, 
Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.